Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to be talking about the new moon in Libra that happens on Wednesday, October 6th with its peak time of 4 or 4 a.m. and that's for Pacific Standard Time. So for this new moon, um, it might be a little volatile. It is ruled by Venus, which is still in Scorpio at the moment. Um, so we can use this new moon to dive deeper into subjects such as communication, connection, values, um, things that have to do with other people as well. This new moon is probably beneficial for new beginnings as long as we are committed to let go of the past as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so for this lunation, we don't have many aspects. So we're going to start with both the sun and moon in Libra are going to be conjunct Mars in Libra as well. Um, so this is super energetic vibes, especially some Mars conjunction. One of the good things to do with this is to channel your energy um, through uh, physical activities. If you think about Mars, you think about more like bodily things. You have to exert that energy, that desire, that drive somehow. So doing physical activities, also creative activities might be great um, just because we do have the moon in there and the moon Mars might be a little bit of a sensitive aspect, like a sore spot almost, amplifying emotions and connections with people. But all in all, I would say just like try to make sure your energy is in check at this point and you're not acting on impulse only. I mean, I have Sun Mars conjunction in Scorpio natally in my second house. And I can tell you like one of the things that I do most impulsively is spend money. So don't do it. With this, make sure whatever intentions or goals you're setting right now have been thought through and you actually want to bring them to fruition versus just being like, oh, I want to manifest something. Let's just do this without thinking about it. The other aspect that we have is going to be Mercury, who is retrograde in Libra, is going to try and Jupiter, who is also retrograde in Aquarius. So this transit is probably good to make plans and it'll work in your benefit. But again, you have to, because these two planets are retrograde, you really have to think thoroughly of what you want to manifest, what you want to bring into fruition, and really take into consideration what setbacks could be um, imposed. Because sometimes when you start things in retrogrades, um, there are more obstacles that come while you're trying to um, manifest this. It's not to discourage, but it's to make sure you are really setting your energy into something that is going to be valuable and it's going to be beneficial for you in the end. So these obstacles and these objects that come in your way, they're only tests to make you stronger. So persevere. Okay, next up, I'm going to pull a card for you guys. And as always, this is a energy that we can lean into or has some sort of message for us during this new moon in Libra. So let's see what we get. New moon card. It fell so fast. Um, new beginnings. New beginnings in whatever area of life this is hitting. So wherever Libra is in your chart, um, you can look it up based on your rising. Obviously, you're going to know where it is. So if your Aries is going to be your seventh house, if your Taurus is going to be your fifth house, so on and so forth. Um, really, for this new beginning, I think it's imperative and it's important because it feels like we have such fresh new energy to work with this time around, even though it's a little um, amplified and volatile because of Mars in there. And Mars is not in a very good position, but at least it's trying to work with what it's got. Um, just really give it a thought, especially Mercury being a key player in this lunation as well. Um, give it a lot of thought. Really don't sit on the day of the new moon. Um do that before so you know really what you want to bring into fruition and you're not you're not going to end up being like oh fuck i should have done that you know before events to recommend we have two one of them is on the day of the new moon on wednesday october 6th and it's going to be body tapping and acupressure massage with diana osberg that's going to be at 7 p.m in person in our sherman oaks location that is 20 bucks to attend um and then we have a new moon in libra women's circle with kirsten korat and this is going to be also a candle carving ritual making um circle it's going to be on october 7th so that's the day after the new moon it's at 6 30 
and it's in person at Sherman Oaks as well. And tickets for that are going to be $50 and all the materials are included. And you get to take a candle that you made yourself um, home to manifest. For you guys, that is it for this full moon. Oh my gosh, it's a new moon in Libra, actually. Wow. Um, so that's it for this new moon in Libra. Um, yeah, I hope everybody's feeling well. Everybody's feeling magical. Fall season is here. Libra season, spooky season. So let us know how you're feeling in the comments. Um, where is this hitting your chart? Where is Libra in your chart? What themes are you excited to start new beginnings, to start new goals and put in new intentions? If you need anything, you can always email us, DM us, or call us at the shop. Both those feelers in Sherman Oaks. We got you with whatever you need. Um, and then that's it. I'm sending everybody much, much love and many, many blessings. Have a very, very happy new moon in Libra. Readings uh, shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots, so when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately, and sometimes it's hard to see that, and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you.